Okay. First of all, welcome to Fifth Comp. So we're going to try and go through all the, the first steps you need to do before you can come join an op. So we're going to try to do this fairly quickly. If you get lost, just fall, uh, go back and you can reread it. So first we're going to do to the Discord, go to bot commands and type in new, which I've already done here. First thing we're going to do is download the mods. Click this. It'll get tell you pre-sort downloaded and you'll get this. You can go ahead and close your, your web browser. What we need to do is open Arma 3. Now that Arma 3 is open, go to Mods. Now we're going to go up here, click this drop down menu, and click Import. Fifth column operations right there. And then it'll ask you, do you want to subscribe to these mods? And there'll be a list of them. Go ahead and hit Subscribe. This can take a few minutes for it to subscribe to all of them. Okay, so we're currently downloading the mods. You can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is joining the Arma Discord, I mean the Steam group. So this is the Steam group link. You go ahead and click that. Obviously I can't join, but there'll be a button up here that'll say join group. You just join it and that's all you gotta do. If our team speaker or anything goes down, boom, that's what you got. So go ahead and close that. So now in game name. So the mod is still downloading, so we can go ahead and unload, unload all while we're waiting for it. We're going to jump in game and do the uh, name next. I actually misspoke. We're going to be doing the next part is joining the army units page. So in this right here, if you see that you have to create an account or whatever, don't worry, we're going to get to that. So you go back to here. And you'll see the join the fifth arm uh, units. Click this. And then what you're going to have to do is log in, or it'll ask you to link here. So you'll go ahead and do those steps. And then you're going to find fifth column and you're going to join. It's automatic. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close it. So we've now joined the group. We can go ahead and close that. Next, next we're going to actually do the uh, in game name. So I actually have my armor three pulled up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So in game, as you can clearly see the buttons, we're looking for the one that looks like a little man in the top right, our name right here. And what you're going to want to do is create a new account. So for this one, it'll be rank and then name. So let's say I'm a brand new member. It'd be RCT. And we'll say our name is Johnny. So we go ahead and hit apply. And then over here, click edit. Unit none. Fifth column, apply. And then this is the profile you edit. So let's say you get promoted. You're no longer RCT. You're now a brand new PVT. You'll change that. You'll hit apply and you're good to go. Now that you've done this, you can go ahead and exit your Arma. Go ahead and delete that account. Okay. So the next part is probably the most difficult. None of this has really been difficult, but what we're going to do is do the team speak. So here's the, here's the download link for it. It's teamspeak.com slash downloads. So what you're going to want is the 64 bit keep and it's going to download. Once it's done downloading, follow the directions on screen to install it. And we're going to proceed to the next, next part of this, which is installing TFAR. You need to wait till your mods are done. Like as you can see, really see mine is still downloading. But I do have the mod that's required, which is called beta, which is called TFAR beta. So you type in beta up there, task force area radio beta. Click the three little dots and click open folder in window explorer. So this is half of it. Go ahead and do that. And then you're going to want to task force area, excuse me, task force area radio beta. Double click that and then go to clean team speak right here in that folder. Then you're going to do task force radio run that and click install you're about to install yes do you want to activate this yes now that it's activated you can close this and then what we're going to do is we're going to click this inv uh, invite link so first of all i need to i'm going to show you how to make a bookmark which give me one sec there we go so click this invite link three two one 
open TeamSpeak 3 client. You can close the web browser now. And now you're in the Discord. So at this point, you're going to want to make a bookmark. So go to bookmarks, add to bookmark, fifth column. There you go. Bookmarks have changed or altered. That's fine. And then the last thing we want to do is double check that our TeamSpeak is, in, is uh, our TFAR mod is activated. So you go to tools, options, and then you're going to go to add-ons. And then you're going to look for T, uh, Task Force Aero, Arrowhead Radio. It says it's enabled. As long as it says it's enabled, it's good. If you also have TFAR or use Acre for something, you need to have it disabled. Click OK. If you click your name, you now have Task Force Radio status. Connected to the game, no. Playing, no. And then your version. The add-on version is not as important as the plug-in version. So we got that. Now, the next part we're going to do is request basic training. So, if you go in Discord, you're going to go up to uh, requests. There's only one thing in here. It's for certs. Go ahead and create a ticket. It'll give you this. Then you're going to go to where your cert is. So you're going to see all the ones that are open for uh, people to take. What you want to do is highlight this, copy it. I usually just hit Control C. And then you're going to put your name in here, the training. So you, we're going to say Johnny Basic. And the time is, so we have to do 24 hours, so we'll say 6 p.m. We'll say it's 7 and 3, 22. So that would be tomorrow and on the 22nd. Okay, so we've now set that up. Someone will respond to you in here. Now that you're waiting for that, we can actually go and set, uh, see if you can join the in-game server. So, we're going to go back to our Armor 3 launcher. We're going to go up here. Uh, oh, yeah. You now need to find the server. So, now that you've joined the Armor 3 group, you're going to go ahead and click this box. We're going to go to servers. So, the units tab, you're going to wait, and then you'll see fifth column. You also see our little logo. And what you want to do here is you also want to favorite it. So, what we want to do, unfortunately, um, you'll have to look up it in the internet for the units. This is in case the, after your very first time joining through the units tab, you'll actually get it in your recent tab. So, hold on one sec. As you can see, it's actually in my recent tab. You're going to want to favorite it the first chance you get. Now we can actually join the server. Go ahead and join. Now what you what you want to do is you want to make sure that your, your mods over here are set to fifth column operations. So fifth column operations. Go back to your server. Click join. And then you need to keep current selection and join. Do not set up DLC and mods. So keep current selection and join. The password is always 5th and hit connect. Make sure that you have your TeamSpeak open. 